Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best. But everybody thinks he's older than I am because he's taller and actually looks like a man. It's kind of scary. I got a dad and a mom and I got a dog that likes to get in a lot of trouble. So that kind of encompasses the family. If I'm not in the cafeteria or at Subway, I'm most likely laying in bed watching Lifetime. I got some great movies. and uh, Or I'm on my computer on Pinterest buying things I shouldn't be. I would have to say the people I've met here because they're definitely one of a kind and uh, we get into a lot of shenanigans here. You wouldn't think we would, but we do. So it's definitely what's made the experience for me. It would have to be either freshman year when Sarah, our goalie, crawled across the field to get a ball, literally like a slug, just crawled across the field. Or, also freshman year, when Wendy took out a girl at Edgewood and picked her up to avoid getting the yellow card and was upset when she got the yellow card. That has to be two of my favorites. I chose Concordia because they have a really, really good education program and I could play soccer and it's a really small school because I don't do well in big crowds. And it's really close to home, so I can basically go home whenever I want, which was really nice. <laughs> well, if I didn't play soccer, I would probably be 300 pounds. And I don't know, basically, uh, I've been playing since kindergarten, so I really don't know what I would do to fill that time gap, especially in my schedule right now. I'm kind of lost without season, so yeah, I'd be overweight and bored. Well, one of them would be to score a goal. That would be nice. You know, get my rep as a forward. Um, I don't know, maybe I really, my goal is for the team to uh, come together next year and play like we know how. AKA Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, um, I do get hungry during games, so I can remember at Benedictine this year I had animal crackers in my pocket. So I'm thinking late first half would be good because that's when it you know, either starts to get cold or the rain gets harder. And early second half, that is like prime time. That way you can stock up at halftime and put them in your pockets. Oh, my favorite Toby phrase would have to be, that's a ball, while he's jumping. That's a ball. One more time? Oh, do you want me to demonstrate? Yeah. Okay, so he's like this sometimes, and then he goes, that's a ball! And he like jumps and it gets real awesome. Yeah. So it has to be my favorite. Well, uh, depends. Depends if I have to teach or not. So if I have to teach, it's a bright color for my little kids. Or if I don't have to teach, it's probably a gray sweatshirt and black pants. So we're a little all over the spectrum there. Favorite meal at Sodexo would have to be, oh, they've got some uh, French toast with like cheese and ham in it with like uh, powdered sugar on top, and it's got like the KFC fries. Fries are always on point, let me tell you. Pal is actually probably at work right now. Uh, depending on the day if Jim shows up, it's probably a good day, but if Jim's not there, it's not a good day. So I don't really know. It's a toss-up. He got to referee Josh's game last weekend, so I'm assuming it was pretty, it's a pretty good day. Yeah. Next on Meet a Cougar, you get to meet Allie Cranack. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh. Yeah, we have a feature in this. I yeah. Can, I can see it. Well, make sure you're. I just, like this close. Just, just really close. <laughs> I have to come closer? Okay, duck. Lower. Lower.